And he blew my investigation, thanks very much. You were lucky that Kerr's shots missed. You were lucky you were wearing a vest. How's it feel? Bloody marvellous, thanks. Crime scene are doing their thing. You're gonna be crawling with suits anyway. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm all right. It's a good thing Kerr had that altercation with a bull. A bloke like that doesn't normally miss. You got a minute? Yeah. Whoever framed me for Maggie's killing had to be a cop, but they also had to have a motive that ties into the corruption that's detailed on that disc. Yeah. Now, a lot of people fit that description, but the one person that fits it perfectly just shot a bullet in the horse's mouth. Kerr kills me. Paul Donald kills him. Shut him up, end of story. Paul Donald. Hey, Dougie, how come you were with Paul when the shooting went down? Oh, there was a reported sighting. I took a photo out from one of the driver's licenses to see if I could get one of the witnesses to ID Kerr. No, no, Kurt. no, I realise that, but who actually told you to do that? Paul? Yeah. Why? Looks like he didn't need me anyway. He did a good job. Yeah. Uh, boss, ESD are on their way. ETA half an hour. Oh, I can't wait. Hate those bludgers. Hate nothing personal, mate. Ungrateful bastard. You'd think he'd shot him, not saved him. Well, he's probably still shaking. Yeah, all right, don't worry about it. I can't interview him. Oh, come on, Mick. You're ESD. Mate, I'm Maggie's brother. I can't investigate anything that may have links to her death. Those pretty tenuous links. What are you talking about? The death of the bastard who probably shot her is then killed by the bent cop who's trying to fit you up for the rap. Hmm. Yeah, all right. We've got 20 minutes, maybe we should have a chat. Hey, be careful. We're on thin ice. It's the water that kills you, Mick, not the ice. Well, it's this a deputation. The advance guard of the toe cutters. Just a couple of things we're curious about. Thought maybe you could answer some questions. Are you serious? I'm serious. No, oh, no, no, screw this. You've got no authority to question me about this just matter. Sit down, detective. I just saved your bloody life. Did you? This is crazy. He got six shots off, though. He came out of nowhere. His gun was drawn. I had to draw mine. And you aimed to kill. No, you saw the situation. I was bloody lucky to even hit him. This is payback. What for? Because I put him under the hammer. Accused him of your sister's murder. And why did you do that, mate? Because the evidence took me there, mate. And the evidence has brought us here. Evidence can be misleading. You proved that when I nearly had you nailed. There's other evidence. Hard evidence. All right. What would you say if I said we had in our possession a computer disk that details the operations of a major drug syndicate? Dealers, suppliers, cops. I'd say, where did you get it? I'd also say, why haven't you used it to work out who killed your sister? Well, what would you say if I said I got it off my sister? Maggie Doyle herself. And she got it from Barry Craig before he was off in jail. I'd say, show it to me. I'm not on it. No. No! You can question me as much as you like, PJ. Make all the threats you like. If my name's on some disc somewhere, it's a lie. Mm. And that's what I'll tell you until you can prove otherwise. Now get out of my way. You stupid bastard, I want the truth! Don't you put me your hands What the hell is going you? on here? Oh, I just don't know anymore. I mean, two months ago, I would have said you were out of your minds. It fits, boss. You'll pass all this on to your colleagues at ESD, of course? Of course. So did this uh, friendly chat of yours produce anything? <sighs> No, nothing at all. What about your digging about? Well, nothing yet. Coppers know how to cover their tracks. All right. Well, what about this disc? Well, as far as Donald is concerned, we've still got it. And have you? Well, he probably thinks that, yeah. But you don't? Well, I never said we had it. I said, what if? It's not going to work, PJ. We can't keep that ball in the air for too long. No, as far as he knows, his name is on the disc. It incriminates him. Let's force him to make another move. Boss, ESD here. Thanks. Boys, Tom Croydon. Come on through, gentlemen. 
As soon as Mick's filled you in. I guess you've only got for speeding. Oh, do I have to? Go on. No, that red BMW belongs to Sasha's dad, Bryce McLeod. Bryce McLeod? What, yeah. heading for town? Yep, yep, he was fanging along. He saw me slide right down. I would have got him for sure. Thanks, Jack. You've been busy, haven't you? Dead bodies turning up all over the place. Yeah, one too many. I mean, I needed information from that bastard. But you're not going to get it now. Thanks to Paul Donald. Hey, Chris. Just a check. But Paul Donald is a bent copper. It fits bad. Nah, don't believe it. I mean, he might be a poofter, but he's not a killer. Look, he was here within an hour of Maggie's death, right? He had access to the gun safe. He's been trying to stitch me off I don't know how long, and now he signs the one person that could have told us everything. Not Paul Donald. Maggie hardly knew him. OK, what'll it be? Bryce McLeod. Has he checked in? No, but he's having dinner in the dining room. So, that brings you back to town. As far as I know, it's still a free country. So you just thought you'd drive up here to the Imperial and uh, have a meal, did you? I've got a little band business to settle. Plus, uh, I wanted to have a word. I'm listening. Not here, somewhere far more private. You did about 30 k's an hour. Mick, we got him. Got who? McLeod. What's a meeting? What, with us? With me? Why? Well, either he wants to cut a deal, or he's going to pop me. I'll show you. Well, if he gets the chance. When? Where? Catch us Gorge Road in an hour. And Mick, this is unofficial. I'll be there. Hey, you watch your back. All right. Uh, what's going on? You trust me, Ben? Yeah, of course I do. And you trust I know what I'm doing. Possibly There's believe no that. explanation, Ben. You should think it through. Of course, it makes sense. Listen, what makes sense is not always. So, what the hell are you going to do? There's no way you're going to get an admission. Maybe not. I can go down trying. No, PJ, listen, you've already yeah, had your head nearly blown off. Today. Today. I think he's dead. I mean, I might as well be. What, am I going to sit on my backside and wait for the evidence to fall out of the sky? You're not doing anything without me. No, right? Ben, I've got to do this by myself. Now, she went to those rail yards thinking that I sent her. I have to do this. Oh, hey. Mick, good day. Hey, Mick, come in. Come you got in. a minute? Yeah, sure. I'll leave it to you. Then, yeah, man. thanks, Ben. Oh, I'm chasing my tail on this McLeod thing. Oh, tell me about it. Whoever he was, he's got connections in very high places. What about you? Turn anything up? Uh, you know, we should check Maggie's surveillance, you know, the night that the house burnt down. Huh. See, the fire didn't take long to set, so how, how was the surveillance compromised? You don't think I haven't asked that question over and over? It had to have happened when they changed shifts or... Well, one of the members did it. Hmm. What are you going to do? Well, you, your old man wants to see me. Then I'm going to go back to my place and go through Maggie's notes and things. Notes, yeah? Oh, yeah. Diaries, belongings. I mean, there's got to be something that I've missed. Well, I'll be on my mobile. Thanks, Bing. <laughs> 